If you ever wonder what kind of gear you needed to run 150 kilometers, Martin Parnell is here to tell us. Martin, you got lots of items on that table. Uh, what's uh, What exactly is all this stuff? It looks yeah, like well, you're this... camping for, for a couple weeks yeah. out there. Well, this is, the, this is what's needed to, uh, to basically run 150 kilometers in about 20 hours. So, so there's a lot of stuff to have handy. Um, have handy in what's called a drop bag. So that's a bag that is located at the aid station. So for this, uh, for this run this weekend, uh, which is at Eau Claire, at least 100 kilometers is Eau Claire, I will be dropping off my drop bag uh, next to the aid station. So this is what I need to take. I'll be wearing my fuel belt. Now this is kind of the core piece. Uh, four bottles, and in each bottle will have water, but also enough um, uh, calories in a product, in a powder product, mixed things with water called Carbon Pro, that in each of these will be 250 calories, and that's good for one hour. So that's one hour. So actually I've got 18 bottles. You can see all the bottles here. And as, I, as the hours click by, I go through four hours, take these empties off, put in four new ones. So that's an absolute key part of, of, the, of the run. Um, the other thing that I must take on an ongoing uh, basis is these uh, little, little uh, uh, tabs. And these are electrolytes. So there's potassium and sodium in here. And that's critical to replace the salt that I'll be uh, losing and also critical to prevent uh, cramping. So those are, those are key, key pieces. Now, some other things to, to, uh, to keep in mind. I am running as Captain Clockbuster. So he's this uh, rookie superhero and this is his uh, outfit. So there's the captain with the big C and on the back we have, uh, we have Captain Clockbuster. There, so that's who I'll be running as, and it's his, uh, it's his farewell run. This is it. He's going to do one last big run, and that will be the end of that. And so he's got a, um, uh, a buff and a pair of swimming goggles. That's his, that's his outfit. Uh, also, uh, from a technology point of view, I need to be wearing um, a heart rate monitor. And I also have, I'll be wearing a Garmin uh, GPS which will keep track of you know, where I'm, um, exactly the distance I've run. The issue is this has a battery life of, well, I think about 12, 13 hours. So uh, maybe I have to get another watch and uh, you know, make sure I've got enough battery life in there. Some other things that I need, um, uh, I glide just to put under the arms and stuff so that uh, I don't get chafing. And also um, sunblock, very important, very important. It sounds like it's gonna be a pretty hot day on Sunday, so I need the sunblock. You certainly don't need it today, Martin. I don't need it today. No, my, it's a bit of a wicked day out there. Now, uh, obviously, we're running through the night, so I need a, uh, I need a lamp. I need my, I need a lamp, and um, this is what I'll be wearing all through the night as I run from about ten o'clock to five, four, six in the morning. So I've got my, my running lamp, uh, and then food. So I'm going to need some food as I go along. Uh, I've got some chocolate bars here, bananas are absolutely critical, and a little bag of a trail mix. So again, I can eat solid food, um, and, and also I'll be having sandwiches and chicken soup. So this, oh, and the final thing, Mike, this is kind of the key thing, is, um, is uh, yeah, well also one other thing is, um, if it's raining, I have a garbage bag, and I'll pop that on me, to, so just in case it's raining, but, and that's super. Uh, critical, but I'm taking this. That's the sleeping bag, Martin. It's the sleeping bag, and um, I'm hoping to get half an hour of sleep. Yeah, between the 100k and the, and the 50k race, boy, if I can um, pull this out and maybe have half an hour of sleep in the car, that's going to make a huge difference. So, yeah, it is like a camping trip, except on, on your legs. So, it's going to be uh, an interesting 20 hours.